YouTube, you guys have been blowing me up since the last reaction video about checking out these guys. And I'm on their page right now, and it's for good reason. I've never watched one of their videos before. Not one video. But just looking at their thumbnails, looking at their page, I can tell why you guys are excited about their channel. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to check out more of their videos. But for now, let's just go ahead and react. I don't know which one I'm going to choose. It's tough. Do I want to check out this one? Nah, not really. I've seen so many of those videos already. I don't know. I want a real cut. I want a real cut. Maybe one with sheer work. I mean, the channel's called Faded Culture. Maybe they, don't, they just focus on fades. Damn, that, that looks blurry as heck. Let's just watch a recent one. This one has 27,000 views. And it looks like a tough cut. It's a pompadour. It looks like a tough cut. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'll be breaking down the steps on how to achieve a pompadour low fade. Be sure to stick around to the end because I do got a few blow drying tips that are going to help y'all achieve this look. With that said, let's get to it. I hope y'all enjoy. Dang, I came out clean. Right. I've never seen someone do the before and after in the beginning of the video. I wonder what their watch time is. I'm going to make sure you comb in the direction that it naturally lays. There you go. Now to start our scissor work, I'm going to start at the front and work my way back as I am gonna leave the front a lot longer because of that pompadour style. And as we come back, I'm gonna be gradually cutting more. As you can see right here, I'm picking up the middle section of the hair now. Nice. Up He's not using any sections, which works for some barbers. Usually if you've been doing it a long time, you can see sections or you can- right here is I'm grabbing some of this hair and pulling out with my fingers. Interesting. What this is gonna do, it's gonna help me transition the long hair to the short hair on the sides. And I basically do this all around the head. Mm, I don't know if I like this technique without sectioning. All right, that's it for our scissor work. Now we're gonna start our low fade. I'm Not for a pompadour, at least. Initial guy line with these trimmers, right above the ear. He got some hitters. Dropping it as I come to the back, and right here I stop at Beautiful. the middle of the back, and then I start it on the other side. That's a really nice initial guy line. Super important to keep the fade balanced, but especially so that the fade contours the head shape nicely. Right, now Blade I open. Take that up about half an inch or so consistently around the head. Nice. Now my third guideline is gonna be the number one guard, leaving the lever in the exact same place, which is All the way open. open. His sections are on point. He's setting himself up for a really nice fade. Regardless if he wants it to be lower, higher, these sections are gonna set you up for a nice gradient fade. In the exact same place. Now I'm gonna slap on that number two. Two open. I'm gonna remove some of that bulk all along the edge using my thinning shears. Yeah. If you haven't tried this technique, I highly suggest it as it does make things look a lot neater and a lot nicer. We cut very similar. A lot of people would just do clip over comb, but I don't like to use clip over comb because a lot of times, man, you clear too much bulk. You kill the gradients, you kill the shape. So for me, honestly, like the bulk is good. We're the bulk is nice. Done. You're really so just trying to remove lines. Head. One and a half guard and the lever is going to be three fourths open. I want to reiterate the bulk area. When you cut them clipper over comb, you're cutting length. When you're cutting with the blending shears, all you're trying to do is keep the length, remove lines. That's the difference. So if you like the bulk, if you liked how dark it is, I would use blending shears and I'd stay away from clip over comb. But if you do want to remove some length, and you want it to be more of a flatter wall, you may run the risk of taking away how dark it is, but that is gonna cut length, so you could use that option. Two separate techniques for two different results. You know, it's not one replaces the other. And I'm gonna start flicking out at that guideline that we created with our one guard level open. One and a half guard, and now you're gonna fade down and create the most gradient, clean fade, nice shape. Even though I didn't like the way he did the shear work on top, especially right, on the left side, guard, it's gonna come out crazy. The exact position, we're gonna attack the second line coming down. It's a tough cut, because you, you're kind of compressed here with this half guard, and you don't wanna spread it out too much. You wanna keep that blend right there in the middle. So this side right here, this left side looks like it's, it's blending easier than the right side. There's always that one side that doesn't blend as easy as the other. Part of it is because the hair growth pattern here grows straight down. All of that's and growing straight that down. Soft line that that created, I'm gonna put on the one guard, leaving the lever in the exact same place and flick at those dark spots. Because it's kind of a tight area, he's just gonna have to go back and forth between that half guard and that one guard opening and closing it until it's blended, especially in dark spots, because there's definitely gonna be some dark spots, because everybody's head shape has indents and stuff in certain areas. Now to remove the first line that we made with the trimmer, I'm gonna use my clipper, lever closed fully, and then open it halfway, then open it to that three quarters, 
See, I don't do that. I'll go closed, one notch open, then halfway. Then it's almost blended. Then I open it halfway, taking it up just another bit. On his hair texture, this is gonna work, but on hair textures that are like super dense, coarse hair, super dense, like thick. areas, I suggest using just the corners of the clipper as it is gonna help you stay tighter with your fade and not take it up so high. Yeah, but on like super thick hair, you're gonna need that one notch open after the clipper closed. But on his texture of hair, he's got like a medium density. It works out perfect. Open it up all the way and just finish cleaning up. It's looking blurry, bro. Killing it, faded culture. Wait till he puts that C cup on him. Look at how it contours the head shape and it keeps all that bulk there. I'm glad I chose this cut. I feel like the thumbnail didn't do it justice. Even though their thumbnails are really, really nice, I think thumbnail didn't really do them justice. Cause it almost looked like a taper. It wasn't until I hovered over the thumbnail with my mouse that I realized it was a fade. I might have to go to Faded Coach and get a blurry, man. Man, that would be a dope series. Going to some of these barbers, bro, that I react to and actually getting a cut from them. Yo. All these steps will be in the description below in case you want to screenshot them and follow along that way as well. Now what I like to do, I like to come back and pick at any dark spots like you can see right yeah, here. Yeah, right there, yeah. I Good job, bro. I tell you guys about this angle. And all this is gonna be trigger play and this is gonna vary from client to client because yep. some have dips, lumps, scars, yep. whatever the case might be. This angle is crucial, guys. Especially here in the mastoid process area. Yo, that cut is so blurry, bro. That cut is so blurry, bro. You are smashing this, bro. That's a hard haircut too, man. All right, now to start the uh, last step, which is gonna prepare for the shaving. Jeez, Snapping, bro. I wonder where these guys are located. I'm about to do some research. I feel like y'all volume should be a little bit higher because I'm looking at the sound levels and it just seems really low. Like I'm not peaking and it's probably twice as loud, my microphone. Very clean, bro. I love the cut, man. You are killing it. Now taking his beard down with the this is why sometimes I hate cameras, cause look at look at this angle. How this angle and the lighting back here makes this look so much darker. That's why I say a lot of times these tutorials that you see, the haircuts in them look a lot better in person because lighting matters with these videos. If you would look at this cut from this angle, me personally, I would think this is a bad haircut. But when you look at it, you guys get what I'm saying. Like this angle, this looks like a great haircut. Half the game, man, is is not even just being a good barber. It's, it's also knowing how to film and making sure you have decent lighting, which I don't have good lighting in. I need to spend some money on my lighting. The bulbs above me are out, but I still make it do what it do. One and a half because the mustache is a lot darker. It's a lot thicker. Yeah. Backs. I use my number one guard lever open and then close it. And then I use my clipper by itself, lever open, close it halfway and then close it all the way. Dope. I can't wait till he puts the C cup on him. Here you go. The temple peak area, adding that C cup or damn, why you went so fast on it, bro? This was the part I was excited about. Now to define the temple peak area, adding that C cup or <laughs> C right. curve. I don't know what y'all guys call it. C and cup. Edge him up. I, I do wet it and clip it back. That way I make sure not to cut any of that long hair and just yeah. start at the middle and work your way to the sides. It's a little higher than I would have liked. The lineup's a little higher than I would have liked in that middle area. But here, it, it's perfect. Like in the middle, I don't know, a little bit higher than I would have liked. Gel so he doesn't get irritated. I like to style the hair and then line it up so that the hair is like kind of natural fall. Bird. The lineup's clean. I just didn't like how much he went back here in the middle. The vertical bars on point. The corners on point. The technique is on point, putting that shave gel, making his customers Make sure comfortable. You different strokes to ensure a better shave. Get to the mustache, always tell your client to kind of bite or pull his lip in. He's a beast with the razor. Up. Yeah, start just in the middle. The neckline, just like the edge up, I always start in the middle and work your yeah. way to the sides just to make sure you're even on both ends. I always shave my client's neckline with the electric razor opposed to the straight razor, as it does get a little bit closer because with the straight razor, I never shave against the grain on the neckline because they are prone to ingrowns. All right, for the pre-style, I damp the whole head with water. And I'm gonna explain the blow dryer. You got your cool, medium, and hot, and Bro. this right here is gonna be your cool shot. This was a very well done tutorial. We are gonna start with the high heat to open up that cuticle, making the hair more malleable and brushing it in the way we want it to lay already. Basically, we're already styling the hair. And when it comes to the front to achieve that pompadour look, we need a lot of volume. So what you're gonna do is round the brush in this direction right here, 
and hold it for a second or two and that's going to give you the most volume towards that front really help fluff up that front what you're going to do when the hair is pretty much all dry and set you're going to hit it with the cool shot lock it in that cuticle and basically lock in that hold now to add the product of your desire here i'm just going to use my wireless compressor with a little bit of semi-permanent hair dye i love how he did the enhancements nice and natural this is the before look at the after oh, boy ben after what do y'all think about this this part right here i'm telling you 100 percent was just he needed to comb the hair if he would have combed it that spot would be gone i hate when that happens with hair this transformation guys Comment so down clean more than anything don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notification. look said. that's the side i was talking about look how good that side looks but lighting could destroy the that side is perfect from this angle it's perfect the freaking lighting just you guys get that's it such a clean cut all right i gotta come through and get a cut from these guys i'm gonna say they're they're in texas that's what i'm gonna say let's see brother you even wrote the steps out here y'all got some time <laughs> yeah i got time all right let's look at the comment section the production value and skill on display here is absolutely insane i can't believe this channel doesn't have more subs agreed y'all need to go subscribe link in the description go subscribe to these boys best tutorial that i've seen i've seen so many big youtubers that have really confusing tutorials yeah i agree but can you imagine if they had 500 videos do you think they would all be like this i think we all have had our time where we've had tutorials like this that explain every single thing but after a while as a creator you want to come at it from a different angle focus on small things each tutorial or just give new gems in each tutorial as opposed to you know if they did this every single video it'd be repetitive it'd be super repetitive 600 videos later but i agree this is a really well done tutorial yeah all the love all the love yo guys they only have 23,000 subscribers 23,000 subscribers for this production value go subscribe guys go check these guys out they're definitely giving bars very skilled i still got to find out where they're located maybe this is their barbershop let me see faded culture barbershop i don't think that's their shop let's see if on instagram i don't know maybe in the comment sections you guys will let me know where they're located because some of y'all have probably been watching them a lot more than i have so if you do know their location please drop it in the comments below i'd love to know just in case i'm in that area i'll come check them out and get myself a fresh fade and with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video you guys have been commenting about me reacting to their channel for a long time I definitely want to react to a few more of their videos in the future let me know what video you want to see in the comments below with that being said guys we drop daily content every single day we dropping something so i'll see you guys tomorrow